Hey there YouTube, as you can see here, I've got my fire kit out. Now I see a lot of videos out talking about low budget, ultimate, whatever. This is just my take on a fire kit. Uh, you're going to see some familiar items here. Uh, maybe you're going to sit there and look at it and go, well, this is crap. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, everything that's on this kit, if it didn't come out of my own personal stuff from other kits... It was lying around the house. It was going to go in the garbage. And this thing literally cost me under $20 to do. So let's just keep that in mind. And that's not including the knife you see right over there. That was a $10 knife. But. Flint and rod steel magnesium block from Harbor Freight. About 4 bucks. That was a gift. Free. That was a gift. With that. But the knife here works on the ferro rod. Why it's in here. It's a nice thin blade. It's got some cool tools on it. Half of them I haven't used during camping or hiking or anything of the sort. But you could probably figure out a thing to do with them in a survival situation. But it's got a knife, scissors. It's got two bottle a bottle opener, a can opener, uh, your corkscrew, and your screwdriver is on the back end right here. And like I said, there's a little notch in that blade that works with that. That is not the fire steel from the magnesium block from Harbor Freight. That was another one that my friend had had. A little bit of a better one. And, and they broke it off the handle. So I filed it down, made a nice little edge, and I'm going to epoxy that to the magnesium square. Here I have cotton ball inside a straw. And the cotton ball is filled with uh, Vaseline. And I sealed the ends with a lighter. Crimped them up so that they are watertight. This one's a little bit of a retarded angle because I didn't match them up right. I wasn't paying attention. I was doing it quick, showing my girlfriend how to do it. But right here, now you can see the same thing right here. Right here. It's a big lighter. All right, this is what I did. I cut the bottom off the lighter. Now this is the lighter I smoked. So this is the lighter that I had used for about a month, month and a half, two months. As you know, they last forever. What I did is after it was completely empty and I made sure it was completely empty, I cut the bottom off with a hacksaw. So I ended up with a spacer in the middle and two hollow sections, which is where the fluid will sit to go up to there now what I did is as you can see it doesn't have the metal pieces on it or anything like that it took all that off so this just strikes uh, that's right I put it on backwards this just shoots out some sparks now I did this off the concept of the saw they have a saw striker it's about half as thick as this and it uses the flint from your lighter. So that's what I did with this one. Here I went and did this exact same thing with another Bic. This one I put together right. And you can get some sparks off of it. Not sure if you're going to see that on the camera. But this one stores in the bottom of my Harbor Freight $8 knife. And before you say this is a crappy knife, I know it's a crappy knife. What I did here is I took the knife apart. I JB welded this blade into the handle. There is on this one, other than some of the other ones I have seen, there's a eyelet here for a uh, Allen wrench that you use to tighten the blade up. On this one, it's completely different. There is a screw body attached, welded to the bottom of this blade that comes down to about here in the handle. Now what I did is I took the whole blade out, I JB welded the blade in here, put it in, and I started with the diameter washers of the handle itself. I soldered them in, going all the way up in size. So I started big to small that just barely fit on the screw that's at the base of the blade put the nut casing back on it 
well uh, soldered it all together took it off it all came off in nice one big nice chunk so I did good then I JB welded the blade in put that set in here and then I took some of this three minute epoxy and I used probably about the whole tube uh, if not less and I stuck it in a syringe and I stuck it straight down here so that I could apply it. Filled this whole piece up to right literally the top of that screw bit and just set it up and let it dry. And now this is completely waterproof. I don't have any air pockets or nothing. I'll probably snap the blade before I break it off the handle, to be honest, with what I've done to it. Still has the original lanyard, so that'll be being replaced with some paracord if I can get it through there. Double O-ring on here on this, because you know there's the compass in there. I want this to be watertight. As of right now, these two items sit my handle. Okay. Now here, we've got some matches, strike anywheres, but... I also do have a small piece of sandpaper inside the spool of thread. As you see that white piece sticking out here, that is a coffee stirrer that I crimped and sealed and stuck my needle inside there. That's all a little compact. I'm going to do another one of these so for the inside of the handle. Here are some popsicle sticks. Sorry about lighting, guys. The sun is just killing me today, and it's coming right in through my window. These are just popsicle sticks that I found a bag of them at at the dollar store. You just break them up, and I use them with the fire kits right here. But if that's not enough, here I have a Ziploc bag full of cotton balls that are full of the Vaseline. Now, if I need to replace the flint from here, I do have the Zippo flint so that I can replace that so that this can stay working as long as I need it. You know, if I'm stuck out somewhere for a long period of time or whatever, I'm going to need that a lot longer than just a camping trip. So I do actually have like four of them in this kit, uh, this little case here, and I keep it in my fire kit. Now for my knives, I also keep in a little tiny, probably about, I'd say about a 60 or so grit uh, knife stuff. There is the pencil sharpener from an old art kit. That is a cumulus knife, titanium. From Home D, uh, excuse me, Walmart paid about ten bucks for this. This also works on the fire steel. Um, I just took off the coating off the back of it. Be careful, don't make the same mistake I did. As you see, I bent my blade with my Dremel. I got it too hot. Wasn't paying attention. I was trying to rush through it. Don't do that. Here is an Uncle Henry knife. Also, it's an older one. Uh, gift for my grandfather it's a nice heavy duty knife I've had it it's been in the family for years he had it for years and uh, this also works with the fire steel this is another EDC carry I actually carry this one everywhere this is an Elk Ridge ballistic uh, bought it for about 12 bucks this does not work for the fire steel uh, this knife is probably going to go sit in a drawer permanently, and I'll just keep this as my EDC. Uh, the reason being is it just keeps falling apart on me. So until I figure out a way that I'm going to fix it, as you can see, I'm missing one of those spacers. Now, that spacer was the Houdinia spacers. We're not going to get into that for now. But this is my fire kit. It's low budget it works you can use some of these things in combination like the popsicle sticks with the cotton balls 
you know, get this here if you need something dry. You can strike it off with the fire steel. Oh, excuse me. Or the striker that I made. Now inside here, what I did is I took a cotton ball, stuffed two of those straws inside here, and filled it off with a cotton ball. And this is orange plastic, I guess, painter's tape. I found it in a painting section at Home Depot. And, uh, you know, it works just like electrical tape. It feels like it. It looks like it. I usually keep a whole row, roll of it in my stuff when I go camping. I can use it to mark trails and areas in my uh, bank lines and everything so that people can see them you know when we're going out because paracord we use is either black or uh, dark green uh, military colors so you know you can't always see that stuff in the dark so that's why I have it uh, you can use that to strap your bag so you can see them mark your trail like I said this is the sheath for the Uncle Henry, so that, you know, I can have that on my belt. This will be on my pack, and this one's also on my belt, usually. Uh, because if I get separated from my camp or whatever, I at least got a fire kit. I've got, you know, a snare kit that's going to go in here, a sewing kit. You know, I'm going to fill this up with, you know, important items. And that is my you know my kit tell me what you think try to be nice have a good day